concerned about it, I have to say, Stinky. Oh, hello, my little poppets. Well, Stinky and I have just been having a chat. We, I know that quite often there are odd sort of occurrences that happen at my house, but I'm afraid another sort of mystery has come into play, hasn't it, Stinky? Yes, it has. Now, this morning, um, I, as you know, I particularly like cake and biscuits, and I do eat quite a lot, I'm afraid, and I've just always loved sweets, and I like to have a bit of sponge cake or cream cake with a nice hot cup of tea, and I, yes, I particularly like cake with tea, I'm afraid. And anyway, we made this wonderful cookie cake here, with lovely uh, buttercream frosting. And just as I was about to serve up a slice with a nice hot cup of tea, I found, not only did I find a great big whopping hole in the front, well it looks to me like a bite mark, and a rather large bite was taken from that cake, but I also found carrots. Carrots placed on top. Now, they have been, uh, they've had bites taken out of them. You probably won't be able to see, but there are teeth marks in the end of the carrot. So in this piece here, oh, I don't like touching it, I have to say. And there's some more marks here. There's some tooth marks there. And I, I like carrot cake, don't get me wrong, but I'm afraid that's a rather peculiar garnish to have on a cookie cream cake. So I don't know how those got there. I really don't, do you, Stinky? No, you don't know either. No, I don't know how that got there. Now, the mystery continues, the plot thickens. I also went out into my front garden to check for the post because um, I like to try and get the post as quickly as I can because the postman, uh, he gets rather cross if you don't remove it from the mailbox in an instant. He's quite an odd chap, I have to say, and he gets rather upset about the mail being left in the mailbox. So I went out to check the post and do you know what I found? My doormat, my front doormat, had been ripped to pieces, absolutely torn to shreds. And this, my little poppets, is all that was left. Look at that. Now, it doesn't even resemble a doormat. I don't know uh, what's going on here, but that was left there, in its place. What's left of my doormat? Some matted bit of uh, straw or whatever doormats are made from, I don't know. And, oh, oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a moment, my phone's ringing, I'm so sorry, just a moment, dear, just a moment. Uh, hello? Yes, it's the wasp speaking, how may I help you? Oh, Aunt Madness! Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Oh, uh, yes, it's wonderful to hear from you, Aunt Madness, but no, I'm afraid you've called in the middle of story time. Yes, no, it's happening right now, as we speak, yes. Oh, you popped round this morning! No, I didn't hear you, no? Yes, my doorbell is working, but I didn't hear you. What's that? Oh, yes, well, Stinky and I must have been doing our workout. We have music playing rather loudly, I'm afraid, so I possibly didn't hear the doorbell. What's that? Have I been eating my doormat? No, I have not been eating my doormat. What? Oh, you think you know? She thinks she knows. Aunt Madness thinks she knows what's going on, Stinky. You saw a rather large wombat in the front garden. Yes, well, no, we haven't got any new pets. I don't know. What was it doing? It was sniffing about. Well, perhaps it came in, I don't know, and took a bite out of my cake. I don't know. Well, look, I'm sorry, Aunt Madness. How's, how's Uncle Insane? Is he well? Yes, no, I haven't seen him for a long time. All right, Aunt Madness, I'll see you soon. Yes, love to you too, dear. Yes, all right, cheerio, goodbye. Oh, how marvellous, my little poppets. Aunt Madness, I haven't spoken to her in ages. And she popped round this morning and she saw a wombat in our front garden, Stinky. Yes, I think perhaps he came in, took a bite from that cake. Now, oh no, Stinky, don't eat that. I don't want you, I don't want you to eat that. It's got germs on it. No, and you're not eating that. Oh, you silly mouse. Yes, but I think he came in, took a bite from the cake and then perhaps left the carrots. Anyway, oh, I'm waffling on again. I've got a bad habit of that. Stinky, we must crack on with the story, dear. No, you're not happy. I said no. Going to be a good mouse. Oh, you're in one of those moods. Well, 
Well, Pop's thinking under the story tree. He's in a rather silly mood. I think it's all this wombat activity. I don't know. And chewed up doormats. And, oh, good Lord. I don't know what's going on. Where's the book? Oh, here it is here. The book. Oh, and speaking of wombats, wouldn't you know, Diary of a Wombat. Look at that. Diary of a Wombat. Oh, how appropriate. Diary of a Wombat. Well, perhaps he's the fellow that's been sniffing about and eating my cream cake. I can't eat that now. I don't fancy it. I'm not going to eat it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. What a waste. You can't waste cream cake. Anyway, Diary of a Wombat. Monday morning, slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, ate grass, scratched. Night, ate grass. And slept some more. And there he is there. What a rather fat fellow he is. Rolling about, having a scratch. What a life, hey? A life of a wombat. Oh, they certainly do seem to have it. They're on a good wicket there, I think. Tuesday morning, slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, ate grass. Night, ate grass, decided grass is boring. Scratched hard to reach the itchy bits. And slept some more. Well, there he is there, still scratching. And then he's going to have another sleep. Oh, I don't think I, I wouldn't mind being a wombat. They seem to have a rather good life. Wednesday morning, slept. Afternoon, mild cloudy day, found the perfect dust bug. Oh, and there he is, my little poppets, rolling around in the dust. Look at that. That's how wombats have a bath, apparently. They roll around in filth. Oh, well, I don't think I'd fancy that. And look, there's Dad. There is Looks like he's thrown a snag on the Barbie there and Mum looks rather glum. I think she's sick to death of snags. Oh, she's over sausages. Oh well, the kids look alright though, they look quite happy. Never mind. Discovered flat hairy creature invading my territory. Fought major battle with the flat hairy creature. Won the battle. Demanded a carrot. Oh well. Doormat. There you are. There you have it. Look at that my little poppets. The wombat has got a doormat. Oh yes, they like doormats. And carrots, apparently. Goodness gracious. The carrot was delicious. Evening demanded more carrots. No response. Well, he's torn that doormat to shreds. Look at that there. Absolutely torn it to shreds. Oh. Chewed a hole in door. For Pete's sake, give her some carrots. A carrot scratched and went to sleep. And there he is, he's chewed a massive hole there in the door. Terrible beast. Oh, someone's going to have to fix that now. And he's also eating some carrots. He seems to like those. Or her, I should say. Bashed up garbage bin till carrots appeared. Eight carrots began new hole in soft dirt, went to sleep. And there he is there in the garden making another hole there. Look at that. Oh, they never stop digging, wombats. Friday morning, slept. Afternoon, discovered new scratching post. Also discovered a new source of carrots. Well, he's got into the car, my little poppets, and now he's into the groceries. Poor mum, she's going to have to go to the shop and get some more. To the supermarket, silly old wombat. Dad doesn't look very impressed, I have to say. Evening. Someone has filled in my new hole. Soon dug it out again. Night. Worked on hole. And there he is, making a brand new hole. Digging it out. Look at that. Never seems to stop digging. Saturday morning. Moved into new hole. Afternoon rained. New hole filled up with water. Moved back into old hole. Evening. Discovered even more carrots. Never knew there were so many carrots in the world. Carrots delicious. Night. Finished carrots and slept some more. And there she is. She's dug a brand new hole and eating more and more carrots. Look at that. Ah. Oh, wombat. Life of a wombat. Sunday morning. Slept. Afternoon slept, evening slept, night offered carrots at the back door. Why would I want carrots when I feel like rolled oats? Demand rolled oats instead. Humans fail to understand my simple request. 
I am constantly amazed at how dumb humans can be. Chewed up one pair of boots, three cardboard boxes, 11 flower pots and a garden chair until they got the message. A rolled oat scratched went to sleep. Well, what a destructive wombat she is. Oh, look at the damage she's caused. I would not be pleased with that, I have to say. Oh. Monday morning slept. Afternoon felt energetic. Wet things flapped against my nose on my way to the back door. Got rid of them. Demanded oats and carrots. Only had to bash the garbage bin for five more minutes before they arrived. And there she is, demanding carrots and oats, bashing on the garbage bin. Oh, she's a dreadful wombat. I hope our wombat doesn't make a mess like that. It's already destroyed a doormat. Evening. Have decided that humans are easily trained and make quite good pets. Night. Dug new hole to be closer to them and slept. And there's mum tucked up tight in bed there with dad and the wombat still poking around outside. Oh. Diary of a Wombat. And there you go, Diary of a Wombat. And quite appropriate for today, I think. Well, must have a chat to Stinky. Let's hope that he's going to behave himself. Stinky, my friend. Oh, did you enjoy that story, dear? You did? Oh, yes, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Are you going to behave now? What's that? You're sorry? Oh, that's all right. What's that? You got a bit carried away. Yes, we tend to get a bit carried away sometimes, but that's all right, Stinky. Well, my little poppets, we have come to the end of story time once again. Perhaps you could make a cake, but watch out for wombats and don't put any carrots near them, whatever you do. And as always, take care. And